Good morning. Uh, standing in front of you is Masugu uh, BC from Kanala Civic College. So uh, today's lesson will be on binary and Boolean algebra. So basically we will be looking on how to construct the truth table. Like for example, if we are given the following example, they are saying uh, uh, give the truth table for the following expression. So now the expression that we are having, we are having what x, y, z plus y, z. But when you check this y, z, it's having an inverter and this y is having an inverter. So now we need to know how are we going to solve this following expression. So now we are having a what? A plus, we are having multiplications, multiplication. So we must know the type of case that we are having there. Now, if we are having what? Multiplications, we know that we are having our what? Our end gate. Whereby when uh, we are having a zero and a zero, we are having a zero. Because now this end gate acts as a what? As a multiplication. Then now, if we are having a zero and a one, we are having a what? A zero. But a one and a zero, it gives us a zero. But a one and a one, we are getting our logic as a what? As a one. So when we are looking at our end gate, we are looking at our multiplication. But if we are looking at our O gate, now when we see our expression, it undergoes a O gate because of this positive. Now, when we are having a zero and a zero, we will be having a zero. But if we are having a zero and a one, we will be having a one. So when we check this truth table, one can say we are a D. So now, if we are looking at this truth table, first of all, we need to identify how many inputs are we having. So if we check, we are having Z, Y, and Z. And on this side, we are having Y and Z. Y and Z, it repeats itself. It means we are having how many inputs? We are having one, two, three inputs. So now, we need to find the possible logic in terms of what of ones and zeros, the output of this expression. But we are going to use the method whereby we are going to check, you see, what are we going to put as our input in terms of ones and zeros. So the formula that we will be using is the formula which is what? Which is 2 to the power x to the power n. This 2 to the power n will tell you in terms of the rows and columns in your what? In your truth table. Like for instance, now we are having how many inputs? 1, 2, 3 inputs. It means that this n is going to be what? It's going to be the number of what? Of inputs. Like for instance, now we are having 2 to the power what? To the power 3. If we are having 2 to the power 3, it gives us what? 8. So this 8 will tell us in terms of the what? Of the input. So the method that we will be using is the half uh, to half method. So what does that method say? It says at first since we are having 8, we are going to divide by what? By half or by 2. Then we are going to get what? We are going to get a 4. Then 4 at first it means that we need to insert how many zeros? One is three, is four. Then it's one, 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 one. Now we have our what? We have four. When we further divide two, four by two, we get what? We get two. Then now what, uh, what are we going to get? We are going to get what? Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Then now we further divide our two. When you divide two by by when you divide, you get the half of what? You get the half of a uh, two. What is the half of two? It's one. Then now you have what? Zero one zero one zero one zero one. 
So this one now we have what we have the uh, we have our what our input. Now we need to find a possible output. So now for our possible output, we need to break our expression. Like for instance, we have y on its own going undergoing the inverter, but the gates that we are having here it's a what? It's a L gate, meaning it's multiplication. So now here we are having an end gate and the inverter. So what I did basically was to say I'm having what y with the inverter, we are having y. Then now we are having what the end gate, which is what yz. Then now, why is that before we have an inverter, we need it, it's a what? It's an end gate, I mean, Then after that, we put in an inverter. Now, what are we having? We are having why is that? At the end, it's having a what? A inverter. Hence, I separated the two so that it makes what life simple when we are doing what? When we are checking in terms of the ones and zeros because one can be confused i see most students they don't write this column but if you are not familiar in working with binary i i, I advise that you write this and at the end you write this column because some students they forgot to see what this expression is having in red now we are inverting our y. If y is a zero, now it will be a one. It will be a one. Uh, this one is zero. This one will be a what? A zero. One. This one will be a what? A one. Zero. Zero. Then now we check. This one was a zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, one, one. One, one, zero, zero. Zero, zero, one, one. It means that we have inverted. We know that. If we are having an inverter, uh, whenever we are having a one, when it undergoes a what a inverter, we are going to get a what a zero. Then now let us check this one. We are having a end gate. End gate it says what multiplication. Now what are we having? We are having uh, y and z. This one is a zero and a zero. What are we having? A zero and a zero under n gate it gives us a what a zero a zero and a one it's a zero a zero and a, a, a one and a zero it's a zero a one and a one it's a y a zero and a zero it's a what a, it's a zero a one a zero and a one it's a what it's a zero a zero a one and a zero it's a what it's a zero a one and a one we are having a what a one now we have dealt with this why is that that undergoes a end gate? Then now we can do what we can invert. Invert this because we have done this. This one will be a one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. Then this one will be our what? Our invert. Uh, our what? Our expression inverted. Then now we go further. It means that we have dealt with this part. Then now we need to come and deal with this part. But under this part, what we did, we have inverted our y. But now these two, this y and z, it's a what? It's a end gate. So we can first deal with what? With this y and what? With this x and y. But what I did, I did. Uh, include the extra column. You can even do that, but once you become familiar, you can work with the three. Like for instance, now what are we working with? We are working with uh, x and our y. From our y, we go to our z. Then now we are having a zero and a what? We are having a zero and a y. What do we get in the end gate? We get a zero. Then our z is a what? It's a zero. Meaning this one, it's a what? It's a zero. Then we get our zero and a one. What do we get? We get a zero. Then you put your what? You put your one and that zero is a what? It's a zero. Then now, what else are we having? We are having a zero. And a zero, it's a what? It's a zero. You add this zero, you get a zero. I would get then now we go a zero 
N A zero, you get A zero because it's a N gate and A one, it's a what? It's A A zero. Then A one and A one, it gives you a what? A one. But now you are having your Z as a zero, it makes it a what? A zero. Then you take it again, it's a one and a one. What are you getting? We are getting a one. A one, you multiply by this Z, which is a what? A one and a one, you get a what? A one, because it's a N8. A one and a zero, it's a what? It's a zero. Then you multiply by this Z, you get a what? A zero. Then this one and this one, what do you get? You get a one and a zero. What do you get? You get a zero. You multiply by this one, by this one, a zero and a zero in an end gate, a zero and a one and a zero. You get a what? What do you get? You get a zero. I will get. Then now we have there to do what with this one. But this expression one. Uh, we can say this one and two, they are joined by a what? By a end gate. Ne? A by a O gate, not a end gate. O gate, you know that is a machine. Now what do we do? Now we are adding this one and this one, as it is written. Adding, it says a one and a zero, it's a what? A one and a zero. We are getting a one. This one, a one. This one, a one. This one, we get a what? A zero. A one. This one, a one. This one, a what? A one. This one, we are getting a what? We are getting our zero. So now our possible output for this expression will be what? Will be this. So now this takes us to the end of the lesson of constructing a what a truth table for more information you can visit the college website uh, and you are more than welcome to contact uh, our lecturers uh, until we meet again uh, thank you very much have a nice day